The importance of eating healthy is the difference between being waking up uh, energized and ready for the day. It's the difference between being able to do a full workout and only going halfway through your workout. It's the difference between being able to get up, do a workout in the morning and go through a full day's work and then to come back and still have loads of energy. It's the difference between feeling tired at the end of the day and you're still able to do more, you're able to have more enjoyment, you have more energy and uh, more of a passion and buzz to yourself that you're able to move through things but also do it with enjoyment. So if you look at the, the weight of, of the benefits of healthy eating compared to the weight of the enjoyment of foods that aren't healthy, you know, you're only getting one benefit that it's enjoyable to eat unhealthy foods. Now for me at the stage I'm at, you know, most foods are not even enjoyable to eat at all. Now, do I still have foods which I'll eat which are considered not good? I do, but but I know the, the amount of benefits that I get from eating healthily, that it's so easy for me to do that on a consistent basis, that it's some days 90%, other days 99%, occasional days 100%, just the best of foods. Now, as I do that, and I do that repeatedly, the impact it has on my body is far beyond anything else. There's nothing that can give you that consistent, persistent, and reliable results to be able to go day in and day out. So you can either not do it, and you'll not notice the benefits, or else you can start to go into that healthier direction and repeatedly uh, choosing healthy foods and then making it the majority of your diet. Now at the start it may be new and you may be unsure but see after you get that consistency going it's like putting it in the bank account. It starts to build up to the point that you have the resources that you need to go out and execute to, to go out and work out and then to recover effectively. So you either choose do you start now or do you think about it or do you only have one one piece of fruit in the morning and that's it that was your healthy day or do you start to go no i'm going to have a smoothie majority vegetables raw vegetables uh, organic where possible and as you do that examples are the lemon waters like things that are so simple but people won't do they won't grab half a lemon and squeeze it into their water they won't drink spirulina they won't uh, use the recipes that I've shown throughout other videos. If you choose to do those things that add to your health, the benefits are in such a high number that it makes total sense to do it, yet people will choose not to. I recommend that you eat a majority healthy diet, at least 90%, and to make your diet as rich in vegetables as much as possible. And as you stay hydrated as much as possible and you, you, you know alter between just plain water maybe some greens in your water maybe some spirulina in your water maybe some lemon in your water as you do that you'll start to develop an easy habit of getting in good quality foods good quality water good quality nutrition that that you have you have everything you need to go work out to come back to go and execute in the workplace, to come back, to go out and help someone, to come back, to go and spend time with the people you care about, come back, and then so forth and, and on as you keep going. And then you're at the point where you're able to go multiple days and other people get tired or they, they give up. You just keep going and it's easy. Now, that's not a secret, but it, it's a, a well worthwhile decision to eat healthy and you'll get great results. Try it now.